Russian war correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov, a comrade of the Czechist Igor Strelkov in the Club of Angry Patriots, visited the Kursk region and complained about the terrible mess in the Russian armed forces. He claims that Moscow is incapable of organizing the supply of even basic things for its soldiers. The propagandist demanded that the chief of the general staff, Valery Gerasimov, and the new Russian minister of defense, Andrei Belusov, pay attention to the problem. I would like to draw the attention of Mr. Gerasimov and Mr. Belusov. Finally, bring order to the personnel records. We met guys in a neighboring village who are fighting here. As we were told, Nivas are bought at their own expense. We asked for warm underwear, socks, the cold is coming, and where is the chief of the rear? They smiled so bitterly and said, in the rear. One of the guys from Donbass, he was seconded here. Such a mess. He is there as having voluntarily left his unit. Do you understand what a mess is going on in this war? Even the most basic things are not in order. This is not even Chechnya, neither the first nor the second. Do you understand? Complained the Z Patriot. Earlier, Maxim Kalashnikov said that Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces have invaded Kursk. We don't have the forces to drive the enemy out of there. I always said, why this Kharkov operation? Why go to Kharkov from Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. Well, that's having an effect now. The advance on Pokrovsk has always stopped. We don't have the forces now, guys. The strategic scales are starting to tip in favor of our enemy, Kalashnikov said. He also complained about the Putin regime, which, in his words, is unwilling to make the necessary rational decisions. Units of the infamous 155th Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces found themselves surrounded by the Ukrainian Armed Forces during an offensive in the Kursk region. This was reported by the Russian Z Resource Northern Channel, which has connections with the Russian Army. The 155th Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces has encountered problems in the Novoy Vanovka area, which is on the northwestern flank of the Kursk direction. Russian soldiers have no access to ammunition and food. They found themselves effectively surrounded by Ukrainian forces, writes Z Channel. He specified that despite the critical situation, commanders send false reports to Moscow about the brigade's non-existent successes. The problems are hushed up. There are many difficulties and even greater challenges lie ahead of us, Severny Kanal reported. It should be noted that the 155th Separate Guards Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet appears in numerous reports of war crimes committed in Ukraine as well as in the Kursk region. The unit participated in the bloody offensive on Mariupol and then distinguished itself by murdering and torturing civilians and prisoners of war as well as looting. It should be noted that Russian z war correspondents accused the Kremlin media of exaggerating the achievements of the Russian army in the Kursk region. The second attempt by Russian troops to advance in the Kursk region fizzled out within a day. The Russian Armed Forces Group made only one successful breakthrough in the Obukovka area, after which it ran out of steam. Several well-known z war correspondents spoke frankly about this. Propagandist Yuri Podolyaka accused the Kremlin media of lying, which paints some incredible successes for the Russian army near Kursk. According to him, the second attempt at an offensive on this section of the front failed just like the first. I don't know why our media started talking nonsense yesterday about the enemy planning to leave Kursk Oblast. So far, everything is very similar to how our operation developed in September. A breakthrough on the first day. On the second day, the enemy's panic passes and they begin to counter-attack. As a result, the front as a whole freezes, wrote the Z-War correspondent. He specified that the Russian armed forces have not had any successes in the Sudza area, where the Ukrainian armed forces have become very stubborn. Another popular Z channel, Philologist in Ambush, painted a similar picture. It claims that the Ukrainian armed forces in Kursk Oblast quickly came to their senses and stopped the Russian offensive on the northwestern flank. Ours advanced very well, but then they stalled. There was no significant advancement in the area of the base of the breakthrough from the east. Attacks from the north are getting stuck. There is movement on the northeastern flank, but it is quite difficult, wrote the Russian z war correspondent. He emphasized that there is no operational encirclement of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, as the Russian media talks about. Moreover, there are no grounds for a cauldron there. 
Heavy fighting is underway, in which the Russian army is suffering heavy losses. In general, everything is complicated again. Complained, philologist in ambush.